Hey everyone, I want to welcome you to our Thursday night prayer time. We're so glad that you took time out of your busy schedule to spend time with us uh, tonight as we pray together. And here's what we know, to, to be a praying church, we have to be a praying people. And that means we make a choice. We have to choose to spend time in prayer. So we like to take one day out of the week and just kind of focus the time of prayer. And we're just thankful that you took time to join us tonight. Now, if you haven't figured this out, we're going into the Christmas season. So here's why I want us to focus this evening. How do we put Jesus first this Christmas? And how can we kind of start off here in the month of December with kind of that focus and use that as part of our prayer time? You know, in Luke chapter two, when it tells us the story, the first Christmas story, it says that Mary gave birth to her firstborn son and she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Now, that phrase, no room for them, no vacancy, no place, words that still seem to hang close to us even today. And here's why I say that. In a world that seems to be crowding Jesus out more and more, I mean, where there's busyness that abounds, I mean, even though we've kind of had this weird year, we still are very busy people and there's so many things that are competing for our attention. Our hearts get stirred to focus on so many other things. It can be hard sometimes to choose to keep Jesus first. It's easy to get caught up in the whole hurried dash of the holidays and to give our attention to what seems to be urgent. And we miss the whole focus here of what Christmas is all about. Our focus gets blurred. And the most important kind of gets pushed aside. What needs to happen is it takes an active daily choice to put Jesus first, especially in a culture that says that we're too busy to focus in the first place, you know, or our lives are just way too full with so many other things. Or how many times are we saying there's just no room? And what we're really saying is there's no room for Jesus. Now, I would pray today that God would help us to choose wisely. We should be wise to the voices who we listen to and be wise to who we give our attention to. He is the one who brings to us. Remember this. The Lord is the one who brings to us the true meaning of Christmas, not all these other things that are competing. He is the one who brings real peace to often the really hectic part of the season, the chaos. He is the only one who is worthy of our time and attention as we slow down the maddening rush around our lives. So is it possible that this year, as much as we have not liked it, that God has put us in a position to maybe slow down and to rethink and to refocus what is really important in our lives? And we can know all this in our heads, but it's a whole nother thing to get it in our hearts. So I want us to pray that God would help us to get to the point where we're faithful, believing this and living this out in our hearts, especially as we go into this month. We don't miss the real reason for this season. We choose to live this out, be the light that we're called to be, the light of Jesus, because he is the light of the world. We would shine in the midst of the darkness. So let's pray together tonight. Father, we just want to thank you Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, that glorious night to be born of a virgin, to live a perfect life, to die on the cross for our sins, and to rise from the dead three days later to give us eternal life through him. Father, we praise you that even before the foundation of the world, you chose Jesus, our Messiah, to come to earth to show us the way, the truth, and the life the way to a heavenly kingdom, to be the way to a heavenly kingdom. And Father, we thank you for making room for us who are redeemed. We've been redeemed for your heavenly kingdom. And Father, we thank you for that, to be called children of God, heirs of God. And Jesus, we worship you today. We worship you as the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are our King. You have ruled you have rule over our hearts, our lives, our thoughts, our time, and our goals. We choose, we choose this day to bow to you and you only, to give you full and free reign over our lives. Help us not to grip anything else so tightly that we're unwilling to release it to you. You are a just king. You are a prince of peace. 
Help us to desire your kingdom above our own. Lord, that we would choose to bow to you above our own kingdoms today. Jesus, you are more than a prince. You are the Savior, the Savior of the world, our Redeemer. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. And we know nothing outside of our relationship with you will satisfy the desires of our hearts. So Lord, help us. Help us to long for you in a deeper relationship with you here on earth. Lord, that we would have relationships with others that would reveal this personal relationship that we have with you, that others would see that you are the light of the world. Help us to love you with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. Help us to live our lives for you and not what we gain from it. And Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit would lead us in the ways of righteousness for your name's sake. Teach us. Teach us wisdom from above. Guide us in truth. Help us to have our eyes uh, to see, Lord, to, to see what you want us to see. Lord, we would have ears to hear what you would want us to hear. And help us to know you better. Help us to fully understand your power, the power of your Holy Spirit living within us. And we pray that this Christmas, Father, we pray that this Christmas that we would be found faithful, leaning into Jesus more and more to know your strength, to know your power, to know your grace and your mercy, and to be a reflection of that in such a season as this. Lord, that your unconditional love for us would be known deep within our hearts because of your son, Jesus Christ. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, again, I want to thank you for being with us for our Thursday night prayer. And let's continue to, to make this our prayer focus as we go through the whole month of December to put Jesus first in all that we do, that we don't miss the real reason for the season, Jesus. God bless you.